What is going on everybody? Welcome to your tutorial number 6 in Required JS. I am Mehul and in this tutorial I'll be showing you and we'll be introducing you to AMD. Now this is not the AMD which is associated with you know the circuits and the semiconductors. This one is the asynchronous module definition. Now what does that mean? Now I have made a bit of changes here. I would like to show you those first. So I've just moved all of the libraries which I used to work with in this library folder. And the configuration file is also in the JS folder and it looks something like this. So it just points to the JS folder right now. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And if I reload this, you can see that it works. So, even if you get rid of that line, that should work again, as you can see. So, let's get back to work. And the AMD, now AMD is basically, as I told you, a synchronous module definition so this is AMD and this is just a fancy way of you know just kind of saying for now you can just understand it like that that it's your way to make your own JavaScript files work with required JS so yeah so that's kind of you know an elementary kind of definition for AMD for now and so let's say you want to kind of you have a lot of methods on your website and you want to just push them all of the all of those methods into a separate script file so how would you do that well you can obviously create a new javascript file here and uh, let's just say our methods.js and you could just start writing your functions all in here like function um, submit form or function load more posts and all that stuff but how the heck would require JS know that when it uh, it has to fire this file or any of this function and what is the dependency and all of that stuff so to AMD fire the script kind of you can say you what you need to do is you again need to make use of the define keyword so with define I'm writing a script here now this is my custom script in the jQuery file as you can see I use this but I didn't use this code again somewhere so this was kind of you know a hard code type of thing so this would obviously run on my web page but what if I want to create a file something like jQuery a library you can say or angular or Xcore or whatever so to do that first of all just go ahead and create a define and inside here would go the dependencies which would your which your file would require so for example if you were writing a jQuery plugin kind of so you would just write here jQuery well actually with jQuery plugins as well most of them would hook them to the jQuery global so you wouldn't need that but anyways I'm just kind of giving you example so let's just say our mini plugin requires a bit of jQuery so inside here let's say this is my methods.js file which it actually is so I'm gonna just create a methods object and inside here let's just say um, change HTML function and let's just say this just changes and don't forget to pass the dollar sign body.html as let's just say this is the argument and this is the argument so yeah and another one you can just add at that show alert and function argument again alert argument simple as that so I'll just keep it to two methods right now so what we are doing here is I'm just creating an object object and I'm just um, 
attaching two functions kind of to this object and finally what I need to do is I need to return this methods object and why I need it to return that I'll just show you that in a minute so for now let's just go back to our jQuery file here and since this file methods.js does not do anything on its own so even if I call it somehow I can't do anything so I need to call the functions the functions of these methods so in this jQuery file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another dependency methods but to make this work again I have to go to my configuration file and inside here I need to add methods and this since this is in custom script custom scripts methods.js and you don't need the JS and yeah so that's pretty much it and inside here I don't need angular for now so for the jQuery I got dollar and for this let's just keep it methods only so what I want to do is now is that just create a button right here so button ID click me and click me dot click and what I want to do is I just want to change this HTML so what I'm gonna write is methods dot change HTML to I was clicked and um, yeah so everything looks good let's try it out in the browser let's reload this uh, let's just open the console for in debugging okay so as you can see the text changes to I was clicked now what is happening here is to revise one more time I am adding a dependency called methods and this methods is taking its path from this config.js and that is this custom script slash methods.js file and this file right here first of all requires jQuery and then this is the object and then this is the function to which I am appending a uh, function again which is change HTML which just accepts the argument supplied and would change the HTML accordingly and the show alert you can show that one as well so you see that it, will, it works so this one as well just simply shows an alert and finally I'm returning this methods and this methods is basically returned to this required JS and this is basically you know this right here is directly hooked up right here so as if this uh, right here as I must say so instead of this what you can use is YOLO or you know whatever so even whatever would work fine as long as you make use of the same word here and here wherever you are calling so you see that this name doesn't matter um, but just keep in mind that whatever you make use of here you have to make it uh, available everywhere in your code so return methods just simply returns the reference to this object and all of these functions attached to it inside here and the reason why you don't need to AMD file your jQuery script because you might ask that how this works it doesn't have any define or whatever call neither does it looks like it is returning jQuery to this one right here so that is because AMD is not a simple concept limited to just require JS it is used in many other frameworks as well so jQuery is quite a bit adopted to AMD and as you can see somewhere here it looks like they are making use of something as um, you know for checking if the call is by a script which which wants to try an AMD or you know if you just download the um, 
non-compressed version of this jQuery then you could kind of read it a bit better so just download the non-compressed code and search for AMD and somewhere here is the code which just you know makes jQuery work with these files so most of the popular libraries would work without any problem but if you face any problem like a script is not working so most probably that would be because this that script kind of needs you to AMD file it so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial let's see what I'll cover yeah so I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching